Hey guys, Matt from the Toasty Bros here, and if you're here from our mini LED video on the main YouTube channel, hi, welcome to Toasty Clips. I swear this is not a way for us to plug this YouTube channel, but this is the easiest way for me to make an update video without totally removing the other video, because there were some things we need to talk about with that mini LED monitor video. First thing I have to preface, though, is how the YouTube channel is run on the Toasty Bros channel. We operate under the idea of the average consumer that buys a product on Amazon, Newegg, whatever retailer, gets it, unboxes it, gives their impressions. Now, I know in the monitor space, it's incredibly popular to tune your monitors or run certain settings or things like that. But we wanna present products from an average consumer. Somebody switching to PC gaming, they bought a monitor with their brand new PC, they're plugging it in out of the box, what are they gonna think? And when it comes to mini LED monitors, unfortunately, we learned that just doesn't work because of the local dimming setting. Now, I do have both monitors right here. Well, two of the monitors. I have the KTC, and the NOCN monitor. Now, the biggest complaint we had in the video was that the NOCN had this feature where it totally dimmed a bunch of dark areas and made it look more OLED-like. That setting is called local dimming. Now, I always assumed, out of the box, if you're getting a mini LED monitor, that setting should be optimized to the right setting to where you don't have to change anything and you're actually taking advantage of one of the main features of mini LED. That doesn't seem to be the case because with the KTC monitor, for example, we'll do the same thing with the AOC, it's set to an auto setting for local dimming, which doesn't get as aggressive as apparently this custom profile that's on NOCNs, which was ready out of the box. Props to NOCN for having that setting ready out of the box, because I think that is the way it should go for the average consumer and us, because with this video, that would make things a lot easier. But the auto setting on here is what made us think, wow, this thing is doing something so much better than this one is, but what's going on? Let me show you guys the setting. Now, before I show you guys the setting, the first thing I want to show you guys is the difference between these two displays. Here's the KTC, currently at the lights off just to make this a little easier to see. And as you guys can tell, it looks pretty good. Everything is nice and bright, you can see everything, but the black areas on this game scene in Hollow Knight, it's not super, super dark. Now shift over to the NOCN, and yeah, look at the dark spaces. Look at the areas where there is no backlight. You can also see up here how this is much dimmer. You, you can also see how this area is much dimmer versus this area right here, which is much more bright. That's because the local dimming on this monitor is set to auto. All right, so we're in the menu here. If we scroll down to advanced settings and switch local dimming from auto to, let's just do high. Wow, look at that. Look how much darker that image just got. We'll go ahead and do the same comparison. Now you don't see that back glow that you normally did see with this monitor. And the HUD in the top left looks a little bit darker because of how the local dimming works. And they're much more similar. So this setting is a setting you definitely want to have enabled to make these monitors actually utilize all their features. My main gripe is this monitor and the AOC one should have it on by default. I don't know why the AOC monitor showed up with it totally off. It wasn't even on auto. We'll get to that one in a second. But this one on auto just doesn't look as good in mini LED form as it does this one. So now that we're on this setting, this looks so much better. I'm gonna bring Jackson in here to see this. So Jackson's in here right now. Can't really see him on the camera, but again, he's here. Uh, but right now it is currently set to where this is running on auto, mm -hmm. the KTC, and the NOCN, which I did realize, by the way, which I can show viewers as well, if you go to the menu here, it is currently running, it does have the setting in here, so if you go into game settings, it's on a strong profile, which none of these other monitors have. Strong, smooth. So high is what the normal one is that I see on the KTC, but this one must be some custom one NOCN does. Mm -hmm. um, I know I mentioned this before, but like, my take on it is, this down here, for example, it looks pretty true black to me. I mean, I'm getting a little, like comparatively, yes. yes. When you're side by side, of course I can see that there's a little bit of like that purplish gray, but I can see everything well. I think the contrast is good. It's very bright in these areas. I think it's because now, like, I'm I'm really understanding, the, like standard's okay. A little better, yeah. Okay, what's, and like what let's low see, maybe? Let's see what low looks like. And then let's go back auto. Auto just gets boom. I don't know. I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, this does look really good. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. I, I feel like I'm I got almost scared that there'd be certain situations where I'll be like in a menu or trying to read something and I'm like, you know, I'm zooming in with my eyes. I'm like, what does that say? Just out of curiosity, let me see if we turn it off on this monitor. Yeah, happens. let's see what that one looks like. Because this is the one in the video that we never turned off because we literally just didn't. We know. just didn't. We didn't know and we just were really aiming for out of the box experience. So, let's see. 
I mean, really, it's a, the best way of putting it is we're trying to be an average viewer. A yes. lot of you guys are not average viewers. You're very uh, smart and enthusiast, and you research a lot. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, so it gets bright. I will say the colors are nicer on this. This one does look better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it does look better. It's funny. Which is funny, yeah. In this game in particular, this wasn't one we did side-by-side -side testing with either. This is one in B-roll we did. Mm -hmm. So realistically, you know, it could change. But um, yeah, just for the sake of the video, we'll put this back to the same local dimming mode. So let's see. Oops, go back. So we could put the AOC up there because the AOC one was the one that we ended up realizing had it was just off in general. This one doesn't have an auto mode. It just has off as well. So that's mm -hmm. what the AOC was running on. Because really, again, this video doesn't really change our stance on which monitor we like the most. I think all these are really good. Yeah. We just want to show you guys that, yes, those settings do exist. And if you get this out of the box, maybe a good idea to uh, check the settings and try to tune it to your liking. But as we like to run our channel with the out of the box experience, we just gave you all that raw uncut out of the box experience. And it seems like these monitors don't by default run those settings. All right guys, so we have the AOC monitor up here now. And as you guys can see, we have a local dimming turned off. Um, and again, it's the same scenario as the other one. It's much brighter. You're not getting the local dimming effect where you get the OLED effect. So if you are looking for that setting, the setting does exist. That's kind of what point I want to get across with this video. It's not really a bad thing you have it off. I mean, you're really not taking advantage of some of the main features of mini LED, but these monitors on their own are still major upgrades over standard LCDs. So it's really just a matter of what kind of effect you're looking for. And as Jackson's uh, moving around, kind of the same impression. You see how bright everything is. It looks like the KTC. It looks pretty solid. Um, colors look pretty similar. Uh, but then when you go to settings, now this is the one that I kind of have a gripe with. You go to settings, picture, you may think, wow, there's nothing here. I got to scroll all the way down to local dimming. Uh, it's kind of hidden down here. Uh, so you can do low, medium, strong. And let's see, boom, strong, there we go. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see the difference. I will say this one, I feel like has remained at the brightest. Yes. Um, but to be fair, I also feel like this one may not be, It might not get as dark. might not the, be quite as dark. And it does have the strong mode, which may not be as strong as whatever this other mode is that it's running. But again, this video is just a quick way to show you guys local dimming modes do exist. We're not a huge fan of the fact that if that's a big selling point, that it's not like that out of the box. But either way, that is a mode you can change. And we just want to give you all this update to show when you are buying one of these monitors, know that setting does exist. And it does make all these monitors good options. So hopefully this video adds a little bit more context. The last thing I do want to mention also, and it was a comment we got a lot, was enabling HDR. Enabling HDR will allow you to get more out of these monitors as well when you are using local dimming. So to recap, out of the box experience, I really wish these monitors would be optimized for the average consumer. They're not really optimized and you have to know a little bit about tech to actually fully take advantage of mini LED. But even out of the box, these things are dramatically better than standard LCDs, making them worthwhile the upgrade, even if you don't actually touch a setting in the menu, in the even touch local dimming. Running the KTC on auto, perfectly fine in my opinion, but if you want to make them look even better, and like we said throughout the video, we really liked how that NOCN monitor looked, turn on some local dimming and you'll be good to go with all these monitors. So hopefully that does clear things up and hopefully this is a good resource added to the video we made before. See you guys in the next one.